church family thanks for joining in tonight for church chats and I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about the principle of Sabbath that principle of taking a day of rest once a week in order to be restored in communion with God and to be built up through life-giving activity and recently I've been watching a series called The Chosen maybe you've heard of it maybe you've watched it it's a completely crowdfunded, free-to-download series that follows along the life of Jesus through the eyes of the disciples. And early on in the series, there's a little bit of artistic license, and we get to watch Peter, then Simon, as he wrestles with whether or not he's going to go out fishing on the Sabbath, whether he's going to break Jewish law in order to to go out fishing and therefore trust in his own striving rather than in trusting in God's provision. And I think that this is essentially what happens to you and to me even today when it comes to getting adequate rest. Every time we rest, and especially when we practice the spiritual discipline of Sabbath, we choose to trust God more than we trust our own hustle, right? And when I, uh, I was reminded that when I was touring Israel a couple of years ago, I stayed in a hotel in Tiberias in Israel, which is uh, just on the Sea of Galilee. And while I was there, it was I stayed overnight 
on Sabbath. And so I got to see as I came down for breakfast that morning that because the staff were Jewish, they were practicing Sabbath, they were resting. And so they had set the Bay Marie's to warm the buffet breakfast overnight. Uh, we, the guests, we served ourselves that morning and even, get this, even the elevators stopped on every single floor <laughs> so that we wouldn't have to push a button and therefore work on the Sabbath. Now that is rest, hey? <laughs> and now I'm not suggesting that we go to those levels of extreme. That's, that's next level, right? Uh, but I am suggesting that somewhere between the Old Testament law of Sabbath and the modern day hustle is this beautiful godly principle of trusting God through a rhythm of rest. It's a rhythm that invites us to abide in Christ, to trust that he's got this, to trust that when I put down my work and lean back to rest, that he is still carrying the load. It's the same principle of trust that's required when we give financially through our tithes and our offerings that God will provide. It's the same kind of trust that's required when we pray and we leave things to God. It's the trust that's required when we rest, when we stop work and we trust that God continues working. Uh, I think it sounds a lot like this paraphrased invitation through the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30. Let me bring them to you today and I invite you even now just to close your eyes and let Jesus speak to you about his rhythm of rest. He says this, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. These are the words of Jesus. So friends, I just want to encourage you with that word for today. If you are caught up in the hustle, even in lockdown, Jesus is inviting you to take a real rest, to keep company with him, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. So enjoy your Sabbath this week. I'll catch up with you soon. See you later.